Women's US Open final. So before I get into this decode, I want to thank my community, in particular Curado and Neil, for their amazing decodes. So I'm going to reveal to you here just how rigged tennis is and just how rigged it was for this 18-year-old girl, Emma Raducanu, to win the US Open. So I said this, it seems we all like Raducanu to win and become the first qualifier to win a Grand Slam singles title. That's exactly what happened. So this girl, she was born in Toronto, Canada, but she's a British citizen, as you can see by the flag here. She was born November the 13th, 2002. 18 years old, guys. And like I said, she's the first player to be a qualifier in the US Open and go on and win it. She actually won this final 2-0 pretty comfortably, 6-4, 6-3. So I'm going to tell you why she won here in a monumental ritual. So she was born in Toronto, Canada, as you can see here. Toronto, Canada gets you 141. She just won the 141st edition of the US Open. And Redekanu is 18 years old. 18 guys, 18 years old. And she's just won the US Open as a qualifier. 18, a really, really significant number. So she won this on 61 date numerology. 9-11-2021, 61 date numerology pure. And 61 is the 18th prime number. So how perfect for the 18 year old to win on 61 date numerology pure. And IHS, which is the Society of Jesus who run all professional sports, which I've been saying for over a year with the Masons. IHS gets you 18 in two ciphers. And it also gets you 36. The 36 is significant because Radicano was born in Toronto. And Toronto gets you 36 in two ciphers. Of course it does. And like I said, IHS it's 36 and Radicanu won the US Open three months and six days before Pope Francis's upcoming birthday. A guy who was born in 36. And I said, I'm seeing connections with Ronaldo who signed with United at age 18 and 18 years later, we signed with them doing so at age 36. Like I said, Ronaldo signed for United at 18, and 18 years later, he re-signs with them at the age of 36. He scores those two goals on 9-11 the same day that this girl, Radicanu, wins the US Open, the 18-year-old. Like, come on. So she's ranked 150th in the world. I'm sure she's higher now, but going into the tournament, she was ranked 150th in the world. So perfect player to win the Women's US Open 2021, which equates to 150. As you can see here, she came into it, ranked 150th in the world. What a joke. And the Queen was crowned in 1953, and it took 16 months to crown her. So it says here, preparations for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II began the moment she acceded to the throne in February 1952. But it was not until 16 months later, on the 2nd of June 1953, that she was crowned Queen. I discussed the 53s in regards to England in Euro 2020, and I'll discuss them again here, but... This final was on a Saturday. 
and Saturday gets you 53. And 53, guys, is the 16th prime. So the queen is crowned in 53, 16 months after she acceded to the throne. It's just all by the numbers, guys. So Redekano is a British citizen and the only time a British woman won the US Open before her, Virginia Wade, that was 53 years ago in 1968, a huge year. I've actually done a decode on it. But 53 years after the last British woman won the US Open, which was the only time, we now have Redekano, an 18-year-old relative unknown, win the US Open 53 years after Virginia Wade. The anniversary of the Queen's crowning to Radicano's 2022 birthday. Guys, it's 530 days, like 53. I've discussed so many times, Italy won the Euros this year, 53 years after they last won it. And who did they beat? England. I wonder if England losing was a sacrifice for Radicano to win the US Open. This is the type of stuff they do. And the three English players who missed penalties in the final versus Italy, Rashford, Sancho, and Saka, their combined jersey numbers were 53, guys. Prince Philip died on April the 9th, 2021. And from his death date to the final that Redicano just won, five months and three days, guys. Prince Philip, yes, the guy who died at age 99 on the 99th day of the year on double 18 date numerology and the 18 year old wins five months and three days after his death. And I've just discussed all the other 53s guys. And if you look carefully here, Five months and three days is 156 days. Radicanu won the US Open on 9-11. 9-11 is the 156 prime. 156 days. She wins it. She wins the US Open 156 days after Prince Philip dies. And she's from Great Britain. She wins the US Open 156 days after Prince Philip dies. The British citizen. How interesting, eh? Disgusting. Truly disgusting and 22 weeks and two days, like 222. How often do I talk about 222? Practically every video because order out of chaos, which is the three Masonic motto. It's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. It's how they control us. It's how they control us. Prince Philip died on a day leaving 266 days left in the year. 266. And I've said before, Pope Francis was the 266th Pope. The guy's involved in all these rituals. His full name is Jorge Mario Bergoglio, which gets you 111. As you can see here, 111. Radicano wins the US Open on a day leaving 111 days left in the year. And she wins it in New York. And New York gets you 111 as well. Outrageous, guys. Radicano was born one year, two months, and two days after 9 11, 2001. She was born in 2002. But one year, two months, and two days after 9 11, 2001. 122 is a huge number connected to the Pope, who's connected to all of these rituals. Pope Francis gets you 122, as does Satanic. And this was just another Satanic ritual, guys. E. Radicanu 
how a name appears on the scoreboard gets you 56. As you can see here, just like Pope and just like Society of Jesus. Just another Society of Jesus ritual, guys. And let's not forget that the Queen and Prince Philip first met on a tennis court. It's just all ritualistic. It's all been perfectly scripted out. They met on a tennis court. And Emma Redicanu has an incredibly Masonic name. So no shock that she's going to be successful. Emma Redicanu, 115-43-74. And then you have Masonic. 115-43-74. Lucifer, who these people worship. 115-43-74. Just absolutely disgraceful. Delighted for myself, for my community. Calling this. Winning a lot of money. But again, revealing this massive ritual is super important to me. Because... I am now connecting so many things that it's just becoming so undeniable. I called all the stuff with Ronaldo and Ronaldo's clearly synced up with this ritual. It's what they do. They sync everything up perfectly. I noticed how the New York Mets were playing the Yankees on 9-11. I decoded that game. Funny how the game finished 7-8. And New York gets you 78. It's also funny as well how... Aaron Judge hit his 150th home run in that game. The same day, the 150th ranked player, Radicano, wins the US Open, which was in New York. Like I keep saying, they sync everything up. Now check this out. Emma Radicano. Look, it's like we just call the script. The Queen... Prime Minister Harry Kane, Lewis Hamilton and tennis legends hail British teen sensation. Just be aware that all of these people here are members of the same order, deceiving us. They all worship Lucifer. Time to accept it. Hilarious to me that Lewis Hamilton is a seven-time Formula One champion as well. How many sevens do I want to give us? But why is nobody questioning this 18-year-old qualifier winning the US Open? People not questioning it. They're just going to ignore it and think it's amazing. I knew a star was born. It's such bullshit. He became the first qualifier to ever win a Grand Slam after a stunning 6-4, 6-3 win over Leila Fernandez to claim the US Open title on Saturday night. As far as I'm aware, Leila Fernandez was 19 years old. It was a teen final. 19 years old, like the uh, Twin Towers came down. 19 years after coronavirus was declared a pandemic. COVID-19. It's just a joke, but Radicano winning is an even bigger joke. Victory for the 18-year-old ensured she became Britain's first female Grand Slam winner in 44 years. Again, I keep talking about 44 because it's the kill number and kill numbers are appearing everywhere. I'm sorry to say it, but they're everywhere. Okay. Djokovic lost today, didn't he? Three sets to nil. Big shock. Well, each set finished 6-4. Six, 6-4, four. Six, four, six, four. Following in the footsteps of Virginia Wade, who lifted the Wimbledon trophy in 1977. What, the year that Tom Brady was born? I've done multiple videos recently about the number 77 in connection with 9-11. Can you not see this, guys? The royal family on Twitter. I have no doubt your outstanding performance and that of your opponent, Leila Fernandez, will inspire the next generation of tennis players. Guys, you're not going to make it to the top unless you remember the order. It's as simple as that. Train as hard as you like. You're not going to get there. Deal with it. Or you're going to be, become a member of the order and sacrifice people. That's what these people do. That's what they always say. I sacrificed so much to get here. Yeah. I know what you're saying, you sickos. 31.4K likes. Like pie, eh? 
3.14, pi. The queen led the tributes for the Kent teenager with a message of congratulations, hailing her remarkable achievement. Let's put it in quotation marks, guys, because it has significant geometria value. 191, like society of Jesus in the same cipher, 191. Remarkable achievement. I send my congratulations to you on your success in winning the United States Open Tennis Championships. A message from the Queen to the teenager read. So who else we got? Boris Johnson, this absolute clown. What a sensational match. Huge congratulations to Emma Raducanu. You showed extraordinary school poise and guts and we are all hugely proud of you. Shut up, you fat-headed prick, you scumbag. How's this guy, the Prime Minister of a country? Do you know why? Because he's a member of the Order and he's got the bloodline. How funny as well that this guy was born in New York. People don't seem to know that. Who else was born in New York? Yes, Donald Trump. He was the president at the time that Boris Johnson was also the Prime Minister. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also hailed the achievements of the teenager who moved to England with her Romanian father and Chinese mother at the age of two. <sighs> Did they just make this stuff up? Huge congratulations, Emma Raducanu, on your stunning performances and historic Grand Slam victory, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wrote on Twitter. Again, Chinese mother, where did Kobe come from? China? Such a joke. Incredible, we are also proud of you. Leila Fernandez, well done on your amazing achievements at this year's US Open. It's been a pleasure to watch. See, they added. And then we have this guy, Liam Gallagher. Liam, Noel Gallagher, members of the order. Oasis, one of the most successful bands ever. Definitely of the 90s. And why is that? Because the members of the order, both of them. Emma Raducanu made up for your sister. You smashed it, R&R &R Tennis. LG. Scumbag. Harry Kane, this transgender. Amazing achievement, Emma Raducanu. Done yourself and the whole country proud. Congratulations. You must be a bit sick, though, Harry Kane, that England pretty much sacrificed winning the Euros so Raducanu could be the first Brit to win the US Open in 53 years. But no... Your scumbag teammates, Rashford, Sancho and Saka, had to miss their combined jersey numbers, 53. You didn't miss though, did you? Pretty high up in the order. Like your fat-headed freak friend, Harry Maguire, who can barely run. He put it in the top corner, didn't he? No, but the three black players all missed. Lewis Hamilton's getting involved. I hate that guy. They're all members of the order, guys. And Hamilton took a break from preparations for the Italian Grand Prix in Monza to say, it has been incredible to see her rise, the focus she has and the sheer determination. The Italian Grand Prix, this country was the first country in Europe to get hit by COVID. Italy? Oh, okay. Thought so. She is a sweet person too. So the UK can be proud of her and I'm super proud of her and I can't wait to see what she does next. She is an inspiring figure. It's just these people's lives are scripted pretty much from birth. So if you're from Britain, you're supposed to be proud of this girl. Um, why? Her father's Romanian, her mother's Chinese. She was born in Canada. But no, she won it for Britain. What an absolute joke. What a joke. And I'm pretty sure the majority of these women tennis players are men as well. And I think it'll all eventually come out. Just a big, big joke. This, is, this again is just an unbelievable decode to show you how rigged sports are. That's my biggest goal. Guys, I want to win money off this. I want to help people win money. No doubt. But revealing this, guys, how many people in the world are doing this? Are revealing this information as consistently as I am? At the level that I am? Yes, I get a lot of help from my community, which is growing. 
nothing but respect for those people and the people who leave really, really positive comments and interesting comments on my YouTube page. But guys, first of all, ignore the Jumatsu. You've got an 18-year-old girl who was a qualifier winning the US Open. Ignore the Jumatsu. Just hear that. I'll say it again. An 18-year-old girl who was a qualifier wins the US Open. That enough should make people question what's going down here. But they do have to create new stars, don't they? They have to get them young what they do you've got the likes of Serena and Venus they're gone they're pretty much done how old are they 41 and 39 they're done so they need rising stars that's why the final had an 18 year old and a 19 year old Osaka didn't make it though did she the girl with mental health problems then you should not be an elite professional athlete if you can't handle it but again that was all completely rigged by the numbers, scripted. Just, they're all Luciferians, guys. People need to start accepting it. I'm telling you, next year, so much is going to be revealed and people are going to wish they listened to me. I will not stop. Guys, I'm not going to stop with this. I'll have a few sleepless nights decoding, putting this all together. But this information's undeniable. It's undeniable. I knew how big the 53 was. Been seeing that number everywhere. Milwaukee, 53, just won the NBA. 53 with Italy winning the Euros. 53 years after they last won it. Now all the 53s with this girl winning it. Months ago, I saw the Queen and her connection with 53. Months ago. And it's finally been rewarded here. And a big win. And a really big win for the community. But guys, 150th in the world. Wins the US Open. It's a grand slam, guys. It's not some half ass tournament. But there you have it. Please share my videos, guys, with as many people as you can. Because sooner or later, my page will get taken down. There will be new internet laws where you can't literally speak any truth. So share this while we can, and let's bring down these scumbags.